Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Deidre from Our Outcycled Life. Today I'm going to show you how you can decoupage with the iron-on method onto wood and you can use either an inkjet or a laser jet. It's really simple, really easy and I got a full tutorial to show you how to do it. Let's get started. I redid these frames a while ago um, and I made them chippy and rustic with a tape method and I'll put a link down below in the description for you to try it out because it really makes a nice rustic frame but I want to put some pictures in the front I'm trying to make a gallery wall of all of my husband and my uh, adventures that we do so I've picked out three pictures I've got three frames and I'm going to show you how to iron on decoupage I've taken the backs out of the frame. Whenever I'm decoupaging, I always like to have a light background. So I'm going to paint over this black so it's white before we decoupage on the pictures. Okay, I've printed off three photos um, of some of our adventures. Now this technique can be done on a laser jet or an ink jet. There's a few extra steps if you use your ink jet and I'm gonna show you what they are. These were printed off on my inkjet. Um, my laser jet printer that I have only prints off on black and white and I wanted to make sure I had these in color. So I'm gonna show you the first step that you need to do when you wanna decoupage with the iron-on method with your inkjet printer. The first thing that you wanna do if you're using an inkjet printer, you want to set this ink. If you don't, when you apply the Mod Podge, it's going to run. Um, some ink printers, inkjet printers, are worse than others. You'll just have to see how yours reacts. Mine doesn't run that much, but I still like to put it in an oven on 200 degrees Celsius for about five minutes. That's going to really set the ink into the paper. If you're using a laser jet printer, you don't need to do this step. I've got these set in my oven at 200 degrees Celsius. Do not walk away, stay right there and leave it for about five minutes. Set a timer. Okay, and the next step to ensure that you've got it sealed really well, I like to use some aerosol hairspray. You can use the pump hairspray, but I do find that if you don't hold it back far enough, you can get little globs of hairspray on it. So you're just gonna take the hairspray and just go over the whole print. And what this is, is it's just guaranteeing to seal that ink right in. Just a light spray, just to cover it. And you can use any type of hairspray, it doesn't matter, it's just to seal in that ink on the inkjet. If you're using a laser jet, you don't have to do this step. All sprayed and now I'm just going to let them dry completely. We're now ready to do the iron-on decoupage technique. I'm going to use my Mod Podge mat, but you can also use a gloss um, for this process. So I'm going to put one coat on each of these pieces of wood. That's the first coat on. We're gonna let it dry completely and then we're gonna put on a second coat. We're now ready to decoupage with an iron. I just have a, a really inexpensive iron that I use just for crafting. I've got it on the highest setting with no steam. My two coats of Mod Podge are completely dry. I have my photo that's from my inkjet printer that I have um, cured in the oven and then sprayed with hairspray. If you're using a laser jet printer, you don't have to do those steps. You can print it off and then go right to this step. And then I have a piece of parchment paper. You wanna make sure you have your photo exactly where you want it. Take a little ruler, make sure you've got it exactly squared up. That looks pretty good. And we're ready to iron on. I'm going to put the parchment paper on top of it. You wanna make sure that it doesn't move when you're laying down your parchment paper. And then you're gonna take your iron, hottest, hottest setting, no steam, and you're just gonna press down and just hold it for about five seconds. Pick it up really gently, move it up five seconds move it again and then five seconds and you're just going to do that a couple times just to make sure that you have that Mod Podge melted right into the paper that's what this technique is doing it's melting that Mod Podge right into your photo and this is a fantastic technique 
for no bubbles or wrinkles. Um, it works really, really well for that. Okay, and I'm just going to take my iron up and down a little bit. And then I'm going to just check it just to see if it's sealed up. Be really careful because it's going to be hot. Okay, I've let this cool completely. And then all you have to do is just lift off your parchment paper and your photo is completely decoupaged onto the, the wood. No bubbles, no wrinkles. Now I'm just going to do the other two photos. These are all finished and I think they're going to look perfect on my gallery wall. Now the next tip is putting on a top coat. I don't like using Mod Podge as a top coat. I find when you introduce the Mod Podge on top of this, for some reason, I have a bugger of a time with wrinkles and bubbles coming back up onto your paper. And I know a lot of you have had that same problem because I've seen you ask those questions. So what I like to do is I like to use a polyacrylic sealer. This is water-based. Don't use an oil-based because it'll yellow on you in a satin finish or a gloss, whatever you have. And I'd like just to put a real light coat over the whole picture. Less is more, just a real light coat and that will seal it up really well. And I don't have too many problems with bubbles and wrinkles coming up. So I'm gonna do that right now. And as you can see, I'm just putting a real light coat on. There's hardly any on my brush and just up and down, just a little tiny bit. That's all you need. If you put any more than that on, you're going to have bubbles and wrinkles come up and it not look very nice. And if you use Mod Podge, it's even worse from my experience. Just a light coat and that's it. Another little trick that you can do if you do find that you have a little bit of bubbles and wrinkles coming up after you've put that top coat on is you can take that parchment paper and you can take the iron over the top of it again and that will iron out all those wrinkles that came up from your top coat. Just make sure that your top coat is really dry before you do this, this last step, if you have some bubbles and wrinkles. I had a couple that showed up, so I'm just gonna do a real light iron, just to flatten it out again a little bit. Peel off your parchment paper, and it's perfect. And there you have a simple, easy tutorial on how to do the iron-on method onto wood with your photos or your graphics. And you can use your inkjet or your laser jet and you'll have fantastic results. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial and you got some tips and tricks to help you out on your next project. And also I'm really excited to announce that I have a weekly newsletter. I'll put the link down below in the description and if you'd like to follow along, subscribe with your email and you'll get free graphics and I also have a discount code for my Etsy store that you can use um, towards your purchase on your graphics. So, love to have you follow along over there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you love this video, you'll probably love this one. See you in the next video.